Hello, I'm Dave Allgood from the uh, Dave Cave, my lava lamp, not quite lavaling yet. So, hey, uh, this is the All Good News. The radio version is heard on NBC Grand Radio Broadcasting Stations. I like to put it here on YouTube. Uh, just the audio version. I put a few pictures on there as well. So, uh, it's a 90-second deep dive. They're short stories, but they have a beginning, middle, and end, and we hope you enjoy it. Uh, in the life of someone here, right here on the Western Slope. So, today you meet Craig Snyder. Uh, Craig's a retired CDOT engineer who likes, or better yet, has to stay busy. Uh, he's an active 60-year-old now. Craig hunts old school with a Walmart rifle, and he hikes in and hikes out. No four-wheelers for this guy. And he's climbed all of the Colorado 14ers. He still needs something to do, right? But it was a casual pursuit along Tiarado Golf Course that, let's say, just got the best of him. And the last couple of years, well, let's say it, it kind of got away from him. Here, just listen to the story. Here's Craig Snyder's All Good News. I'm Dave Allgood, and this is the All Good Started News. walking around and picking them up. He always has to push a little harder than everybody else. Marcia Snyder will tell you her husband. Craig Snyder. He's very focused and driven. Take, for instance, climbing. I climbed all the 14ers, uh, finished the official 54th. 14er on my 54th birthday. So when civil engineer Craig retired from CDOT? You know, trying to find things to stay busy. I just started walking around and picking them up. Oh, he got busy all right. Pick up, you know, a few dozen every night or every morning and it starts to add up. <laughs> this might be the understatement of the yeah, year. I kind of got uh, out of control, you might say. And, but then he really took it to the next level. So what started as nice a... Nice hobby. This is a little out of hand. <laughs> i got to find a way to get rid of these puppies. And by puppies, <laughs> Craig became the Pied Piper of... Finding golf. Balls. <laughs> but it was finding a place to put all those misplaced puppies. The pile kept growing, and so I went and bought some big plastic trash cans, and pretty soon I had like six of them full. You see, after oh, just like two, two, three years walking around, yeah, I live on the fifth green on the Tierra Golf Course. Craig had a mass. I got up to where I had like fifteen thousand at one point. <laughs> That's about sixteen golf balls a day. That just shows you how many golf balls are lost in a year. <laughs> what to do with a gaggle of golf balls. So I got online and found a guy that was willing to come up from Texas. So you Googled buy golf balls? There's a person to take care of almost any situation you, you need on the internet. Any advice for would-be golf ball hunters? Uh, stay away from my territory. <laughs> and that's the All Golf Good News. The All Good News can be heard on all your favorite NBC Grand Radio stations, The Moose, The Monkey, 103.9 The Planet, KNZZ 1100, and more, upcoming more. So if you have an idea for an All Good News story, just drop me a note on the All Good News Facebook page. That's the All Good News Facebook page. So have a great day, and remember, everybody has a story. What's yours?